Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a mini keg of Adnams Mosaic Pale Ale. Coming in at 4.1%. There you go. Let's get this mini keg open. Get some into a glass. And see what we get. Okay, so beer in the glass then. It's pouring out. It's the colour of a pale ale. Nice conditioning. You can see the little bubbles on the top of the glass, just where my little finger is there. Rushing up, tiny little bubbles. Now the beer is creating this lovely head. It's love fresh cask beer. Always gets me excited. There's the lovely beer. It's a one finger head, slightly off white. Golden coloured, slightly cloudy, which is it's okay for a pale ale. Again, it's live cast beer, you're gonna get this. Let's check out the aroma. Aroma then for the mosaic pale ale from Adnams. Wow, you guessed it, mosaic hops in here. Wow, it's so fruity. As you can see, we've got two mini kegs from Adnams here. And I've just reviewed the one. Check out the South Town from Adnams with Camden Town Brewery. Absolutely phenomenal beer. This one, just as good, but in a different way. Slightly more, um, I'm gonna go Skittles. My new favorite word at the moment is Skittles. It's, it's slightly more Skittles, taste the rainbow. It's got, it's a little bit more intense with the hops. A lot fruitier, like a kind of um, a, 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 a tropical fruit bowl of, of, of punch. It's got that, just smells great. I'm gonna dive in, cheers. That is storming. That is a storming beer. It's a little less malty than the South Town Red Ale. You're gonna have to watch that review now, aren't you? Because I'm just I've been talking about the South Town Red Ale. Check it out. Adnams, Camden Town Brewery, South Town Red Ale. Put it in YouTube, you'll find it. Uh, compare the beers, because I'm comparing the beers. I put the two out. I'm drinking them at the same time. You do the same. Not drink, well, if you can drink them, drink them. But if you if you want to watch the two reviews back to back, I'd suggest doing that. It's, it's, it's quite different. It's more, for me, hop forward. It's limey. It's like a, it's like lime juice, lemon juice. Them sharp vitamin C kind of flavours pulling through. But it has got that kind of freshly baked bread quality to it. It's, it's, this one, this beer is less big bowl bitterness and more towards the lemon and lime, maybe peach and mango and apricot flavours. And there's that more of a mellow flavour rather than a massive bitterness. Yeah, this is more, I'd say, if I wanted to session a beer, if I wanted to session a beer from Adnams and you give me the choice between the Camden Town, South Town and with Adnams or the Adnams Mosaic Pale Ale, tongue twisters. I'd say if I wanted a session beer, I'd session the Mosaic Pale Ale over the South Town. The South Town would be great over kind of two pints and, and kind of, wow, show your mates. This is an amazing showcase of hops. This is an amazing beer. But if you were at a wedding and you were there all day and all night and 
someone offers you this amount of hops and this amount of flavour for a 4.1% beer, you're going to stay on that all day. Rating them for the Mosaic Pale Ale Madnams. It's really good, it's really solid, it's full of flavour, 4.1%, what more do you want? I've been reviewing Adnam's beers for years now, years. I was lucky enough to try some of their kind of, their lighthouse, you know, their, 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 their session stable stalwarts of beers, their, their South Town uh, South Town, the Lighthouse, sorry, and the the Gun Hill, and the amazing broadside, and this this is from the Jack brand. This is the kind of uh, the I think Jack is going back to the original kind of recipes at the brewery um, with a with a modern twist. They're being very adventurous. They're being very different. They're playing with hops. They're playing with malt. They're playing with yeast. And it's good. They're doing all the right things. It's great stuff. I'm going to give this again. I'm going to give it a nine out of ten. It's nine out of ten from Real Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.